congressman. Uh, we were quite proud of him, and I have a particularly uh, funny story to tell you about that. And then, as um, lieutenant governor uh, of the, for the state of New York, too. So we've watched your progress, and we've appreciated the many things that you have done for us. And he currently is serving now with the commission that has been investigating the possibilities of downsizing in communities and combining governments and doing it effectively and yet doing it to also make some, some wonderful savings, hopefully, for the taxpayers, as well as just the likeliness of things coming together much better uh, with fewer people running the show. I want to backtrack just a minute to tell you about when Stan was a congressman, our son Jim was in college, and he took a uh, position, he was offered a position to intern with Stan. And so he, when he was, when he arrived there, he was looking for a place to live and found a spot where a lot of the other interns were living. It was about a week before we talked to him, how things are going. Well, they're going fine, yeah, good, good. And are you, are you busy? And he said, there was a big silence, and he said, well, an awful lot of the kids that I live with aren't very busy. And I said, what does that mean? He said, I'm working for the only congressman that's taking this job seriously. <laughs> appreciate this opportunity and I appreciate one little thing although I took my jacket off I hope that's all right yes. uh, but um, I I appreciate the fact that there are name tags not so much just because of my age I know your name Eddie but um, it's always helpful when you see somebody that you haven't seen in some time but I'll tell you a, a little story about that one of the worst days I had as lieutenant governor happened to be out on Long Island. And every place I went, they were mad at Governor Cuomo, they were mad at me, they were mad at everything. And I finally had a dinner speech to give. And um, I knew that I was running late and that they would have already eaten. And the worst thing you can do in that cir circumstance is come in when, when they're all sitting there waiting and eat in front of them, but I, uh, I needed something. So I said to the driver, just stop at a gas and go place. I'll get a candy bar or something that'll get me over. And I walked in, you know, hassled and late and everything. And there was a very, very attractive woman behind the counter. And she said, you must be Stan Lundin. And I said, yes, I am. How did you know? I said, did you see me on TV? She said, no. I said, did you see my photo in the newspaper or something? She said, no. I said, well, how did you know? She said, you left your name tag on for me. <laughs> I think the League of Women Voters has a very important role to play in regard to reform of our election system and the efficiency of municipal government in New York State. You can also be a powerful voice for improving school district governance and stabilizing or even reducing property taxes. A recent report from the Tax Foundation found that the 12 highest property tax counties in America, out of 12, 10 were in New York State. Chautauqua County has the dubious distinction of being number three in high property taxes in America. We, we simply, this is not tolerable, and there's a really urgent need to take action. And given the financial crisis that we have, and particularly how it impacts on New York State, I don't think we can expect that we're just going to get relief rained down in financial from Albany. And I, I believe that the 
study that we did, the report that we issued, incidentally, I brought a few copies, they're only half wet, of the executive <laughs> summary if you're interested, or you can visit our website, which I'll give you in a minute. But um, I, I really commend it to your attention and, and hope that you'll get involved. The Local Government Efficiency and Competitiveness Commission was uh, organized in April of 2007, and we gave our report a year later. We had 15 members of extraordinary experience from all over the state, really nice combination of former elected people like me and academics and others, uh, and, and it was a very good commission. The fundamental notion on which our commission was founded was that property taxes are too high and that they hurt New York State competitiveness. And I really believe that. Other taxes, other factors may play a role, but I think property taxes are out of line here, and we ought to do what we can. There are too many overlapping and even sometimes conflicting uh, local governments, municipal uh, governments, and school districts. So let's find a way to consolidate governments, or at least functions, so that uh, property tax can be stabilized or maybe even hopefully reduced. The, uh, we held hearings all over the state uh, and got a lot of good ideas and uh, we recommended uh, what are now called local government efficiency grants um, and the basic purpose is not to, to fund the, the actual implementation, but to, to look at, could we save money? Because maybe combining the village and town of Westfield, for example, might not. Who knows? Or better example would be, there's been a proposal to merge the Jamestown City Police with the uh, Sheriff's Department. Well, that's going to take a lot of analysis, and I can't tell you today that'll save X amount of dollars, or that it's even legally and uh, possible and that kind of thing. They need some help. And, and there's willingness on both the county and the city's part to come together and to try to get it. And I hope they get one of these efficiency grants. Incidentally, uh, the Department of State that administers those grants is having a meeting all day, I believe, at JCC in Jamestown on October 29th. And you, you might be interested, or some of you, or you could have a committee take an interest. The one thing that set our commission apart from others, there have been other commissions, including one under Governor Cuomo, um, and they frankly didn't accomplish very much. And the one thing that set ours apart was that we wrote, the governor wrote, to local officials all over the state and said, what are your ideas? What do you propose to uh, make more efficient the delivery of services? And we got back over 200 local initiatives. These were not mandates from the state, but ideas that people had. Now, not all of them can be implemented, for example, there was one suggestion, obviously not from a legislator, but to dissolve Tioga County. <laughs> and and it's, what's, what was interesting is maybe there are some counties that ought to be dissolved, but that would be very complicated. But if you look at, if you know where Tioga County is, the eastern part of it identifies itself with Binghamton and Broome County, and the western part with Elmira and Shimon County, and the northern part of the county with Ithaca and Thompson's County, so it would really be complicated. And, and that is obviously not going anywhere. But we have over 190 of these initiatives that are in some stage of progress and work, including several here in Chautauqua County.